Guys, are you ready for this? Today we are going to continue our Halloween Spooktacular event with none other than classic arcade action in Gauntlet for the NES. Uh, I believe you would refer to this as a dungeon crawler where it's like a top-down view and you're trying to traverse these levels as fast as you can. It is on a timer, which is a little bit of a bummer, but you know what? That's just how a lot of these arcade-style games go. You're trying to collect... Uh, treasure and keys and there's spots in each level where you can increase your time if you get hit by one of the million enemies in each level your time will decrease there's four different characters to choose from you've got like a male and a female warrior you've got like a wizard and a uh, like an archer type dude each with different attributes for uh, their strength and their power of their weapon and their speed uh, and by the way, did I mention that it's co-op? Okay, so you can play with your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your wife, your husband, your aunt, your uncle, grandmother, your kid. Anybody can have fun playing couch co-op when they play Gauntlet. And uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to see how far we can get. And I hope you enjoy. Let's play some Gauntlet for the NES. Oh, spooky. Oh yeah, that's classic. Okay. That's old school. Alright, so now, alright, we've got our character selection screen. I'm, I'm pressing up and down and left and right with the D-pad here. You can see it's two-player co-op if you wanted to. Anyway, I've got a couple of warrior types got like a wizard and then like an archer and you could see in the lower left hand corner each of their attributes so you've got like shield defense you know weapon strength uh health i suppose i don't know what that is the third one and speed anyway we're going to choose the archer and just try to tear ass through these stages as fast as we can so if you're not familiar with gauntlet you're trying to you're trying to collect keys and treasure and get get to the exit avoid getting hit there's a timer in the upper left hand corner uh, the enemies spawn from uh, different places and if you wipe out the spawn point then no more enemies like this one that one there. Okay, let's just get to the exit. I'm not going to bother collecting all the stuff and being a completionist. We're just going from stage to stage. As you can see, that's a, a timer winds down faster when we get hit. So... Even though it is a timer, you could think of it like it's our health. ourselves a bonus stage here and the exit is always in a random place and somewhere in here ah there we go I was gonna say somewhere in here is a treasure that will increase our max uh, health or time and that's what we just got okay so let's get more treasure before the time runs out Let's see, what do we have time for? Uh-oh. Well, this is going to be close. Okay. And there's also a password system, as you can see. There we go. Our health is replenished. Alright. 
Now, if I remember correctly, we want to go this way. And if we hit these yellow squares, uh, it's kind of like we, we're stopped in our tracks and we're frozen for the for a few seconds. So that's not good. We, we want to try to avoid those. Some of them we have to hit, like this one, for example. this key, but we'll see. Not for the type of game we're playing today, at least. Oh boy. Ouch. Oh yes, we should have. Yes, we should have gone this way. I guess we did need that key. Goodbye, goodbye, good day. Oh no, we're in bad shape here. Ouch. That was a little messy. Uh oh, okay. We gotta be real careful. these walls we can knock down. Oh, wow. Uh, do I need to backtrack? these guys. When the music speeds up, it makes me think that I need to hurry up, but... Oh, I think I need to... Oh, no, okay, I was gonna say... Do I need to backtrack? Ouch. I'm getting annihilated here. out. Take you out. Why do I feel like I need to get through there? Oh no, I forgot where to go. I think we might lose, uh, I think we might, oh, okay, bonus stage, good, just in time. 
I'm gonna go kind of the same route here, except the exit is now in a different place, it looks like. Where's the exit? Exit's there. Okay, let's make our way back. Nice. strength. Oh, well, look at that. We've increased our maximum health. And I see the exit already, too. So I need to... It's a little deceiving. I'm sure it's a lot harder than it looks. All right, ouch. I like the happy music, even though it's complete chaos. to do. Uh, what is that thing? I want to know what that item is. So I don't remember that either. Oh, it allows my weapon to bounce off of things. Neat. That's not necessary. No, we don't want to go this way. I think we want to go. Oh boy. Let's go around here. Say goodbye to all of that. Okay. The but the weapon bouncing off thing is bad. We're in tr we're in big time trouble here. It, it kind of makes our weapon slow, and I've got nothing. Oh, I think we might have to cash it in here. horrendous but fun at the same time and I hope you enjoyed Gauntlet today for the NES. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you all very very soon.